This house needed new shingles, it needed new siding, so we took all the siding off. We Randy Proven and here. his construction crew have completely stripped the outside of this East Kildonan home. And the method they're using to retrofit the house isn't common in Manitoba. The Europeans are using these Larsons now. Doing, they're doing schools, hospitals, you know, daycare centers, any kind of public building and, and homes as well. A Larson truss is used to build thick walls that provide room for above average amounts of insulation. It's a major component in building a passive house. A so-called passive house is built to a high standard of energy efficiency because the thick insulation and airtight design requires minimal heating. A passive house can heat your home without a conventional furnace, even in our Winnipeg winters. Well, the concept is that you insulate your building to the point where you don't need a conventional heating system. So a house like this, you know, is going to end up, you need about 3,000 watts of heat to heat it instead of, you know, 30,000. We set the windows back in rather than out flush with the wall here. The window placement minimizes drafts and rafter extensions create room for more insulation. The goal of this low energy retrofit is to reduce the home's heating and cooling by about 80 percent. So I wanted to make it warmer. It was built in 1950 and the uh, floors, pr particularly around the perimeter of the house, were, were always cold. I'd insulated the basement, but that didn't help. So I was still uh, living in a cold house and I um, wanted to stay here. I, I love my house and my neighborhood. Sun Certified Builders Co-op is the organization behind the retrofit and is committed to bringing the passive house building method to Manitoba. Although the design is popular in Europe, it is only beginning to catch on in North America. It's slow, but maybe after a winter like this, maybe people think, oh yeah, maybe we should insulate the house. <laughs> Building to passive house standards isn't cheap, and retrofitting an existing house can be challenging, but creating more energy efficient buildings in Winnipeg is something this group is passionate about. Because we're concerned about the environment and what we're doing, with, you know, we're concerned about climate change basically and what our kids are, what we're giving our kids and we want to give our kids something good. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Jessica Cable.